everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a great topic for you guys. I hope you guys are excited for this one as much as I am. We are a little ways away from it, but I figured it's a great time, right? We just had WWE Elite Series 90 release. You guys, if you missed out on the reviews on the channel with the Randy Orton and Mustafa Ali, the whole entire wave, definitely go check that out. But today, man, we're going to dive into WWE Elite Series 100 and what I think we should expect out of the set, kind of what my idea would be if I was on the Mattel board or the or the the team or whatever and I sat in on the meetings and they said you know MDT what's your pitch for Elite Series 100 what can we do for it this is exactly what I would do or this is an idea I had that I thought I would run by you guys so you guys can let me know what you think and you can sound off on what your ideas would be down below now WWE Elite Series 100 it's kind of insane right we had basic Series 100 not too long ago you know with The Rock and Stone Cold Shawn Michaels Undertaker it was a solid set for sure but I think for Elite Series 100, you gotta bump it up, bro. It's gotta be insane. It's gotta deliver. And it has to be, I'd say, like, they did a great job on Basic Series 100, but I think Elite Series 100 does need to be a step further than that, especially in today's day and age. Elite Series 90 was insane, man, with the cloth goods and the details, true effects. The heads are removable now. The double-jointed arms. I mean, we are literally just, just living in this golden era of WWE action figure. I mean, action figures, period. But WWE and wrestling action figures are as great as they've ever been, man, and it's just getting better, right? So we're just live, we're just swimming in it. It's engulfing us. But today, man, let's go ahead and dive into my wave. Now, of course, the packaging's got to be lit, right? It has to have sick-ass packaging, you know, nice WWE Elite 100 logo on there, probably some gold foil. It's 100, it's big, it's whatever, so, you know, it's got to be gold-plated in some way. Maybe the 100 can be gold-plated, you know, have some, like, I, I think, like, not entirely like the AEW and Rival line, but it needs to be something like that, right? It needs to have, like, I think gold or black and white, you know, all kind of assembled together there, popping off. I'd say probably some white packaging, some black details and some gold foil in there etched in the sides i think it would be sick as hell i think it'd be really really beautiful packaging before elite series 100 let's dive into the first figure in the wave and the details that i would go for it so the first guy that is going to be in my wave is going to be john cena i, I you know he's my goat he's my favorite of all time so john cena has to be in there i mean he's basically carried this this entire wave on his back right he's carried wwe mattel uh, i think he has the most figures out of everybody else when you look at the basics and the elites, the ultimates, the, the weird lines with the monsters and the zombies and all those things. If there was a wave of WWE Mattel figures, like in any way, doesn't matter what it was, basics, elites, all the way from top to bottom, whether it was the cheapest thing, the little knick-knack figures, the best of the best, the tall figures, there's a John Cena. There's a John Cena made, and I think that John Cena is absolutely in the, in the wave. He's got to be in the wave. I don't care if you're going for a flashback set only. John Cena is going to be in the wave because he has the most figures he is the he is the man he's been the man for a decade over a decade really and so he has to be in the wave it's just john cena has to be in the wave so in this way for john cena we have seen pretty much all of his his attires from 2010 to current day not counting the one we'll probably get a john cena between elite 90 and 100 maybe 94 maybe 95 maybe 96 but elite 100 has got to have john cena in it so i would say we'll probably end up getting his SummerSlam return gear maybe we'll have you know where uh he came out and faced off with roman reigns there's gonna the, we're gonna get those gears, so don't worry about that. I don't think we would go with one of those gears for Elite 100. I personally would go with his Chain Gang set. Now, I say Chain Gang set because I think it should include both of these looks, and you guys can tell me what you think here. So, I would have, first of all, every figure in this wave is going to have interchangeable head sculpts, so every single figure should have an interchangeable head, whether it's like a screaming face and a determined face, whether it's a smiley head and a talking head, or whatever the case is, there's got to be two interchangeable there's got to be two heads with every figure. Got to have at least one interchangeable head with every figure in the wave. So for John Cena, I would go with his 2005 Chain Gang look. I would give him the Chain Gang chain. I would give him the baseball jersey that we still have not seen from Mattel yet. It's it's my probably my favorite look that he's ever rocked. Chain Gang hat, Chain Gang chain, baseball jersey, black armbands, double jointed arms, black shorts, the whole nine, man. It would be absolutely incredible. Now, if it was ultimately up to me, I would probably throw the football jersey in there as well, but I don't want to get too carried away with it. I think that's a lot of accessories. You get the interchangeable head. You do get the... You're probably going to have to include the WWE Spinner Championship. You wouldn't have to include that, but just some form of basis. Whether they give us the football jersey or the baseball jersey, give me one of the jerseys. Give me the chain gang chain. Give me the hat. Give me the interchangeable head. And give me the Spinner Championship. And that's that's a 
beautiful figure. That's my that's my first figure in the set. Absolute banger. That's gotta be in the that's gotta be in the way. Next up in the set, guys, we are going with Randy Orton, another guy that's been around for a long time, right? Like, this wave, I think, has to personify people that have been there since the beginning, that have moved a lot of product, and that not necessarily are flashback. I feel like they probably are going to go with flashback, guys, which I'll touch on in the end, but just let me get through the wave, and then I'll dive into what I'm saying. So, my next up is going to be Randy Orton. I think for this Randy Orton, I would put him in his WrestleMania 31 gear, in the red trunks. I think we were supposed to get this in Elite 35, but they ended up changing it to his payback attire if i'm not mistaken i want to say that was what it did we ended up getting the blue gear instead of the red gear really wish i could have gotten my hands on that one but i think they will come back to this figure i would put randy orton in the red gear there it's a randy orton that we have not seen before they could even give him an entrance hoodie i don't think he had an entrance hoodie at that time but i would put him in some sort of cloth entrance hoodie that would be really sick you could have like the reaction head sculpt to the huge rko to seth rollins you could have a pissed off randy orton head sculpt He'd have the black hand tape, double jointed arms, elbow pads. It would be a beautiful looking Randy Orton. Put him in the red gear. It would be beautiful. That, that's a perfectly solid Randy Orton for this set. Next up in the set, guys, we do have Undertaker. Now, Undertaker's one of those that, again, has been around for the while. You guys can kind of see a theme for this wave. Guys that have been around, you know, they were kind of the older era right there towards the end of the Ruthless Aggression era. They carried us on through, and they progressed on through into today's day and age, and they were there for the very beginning of the wave. That's kind of what the, the theme of this wave is going to be. And for this Undertaker, man, I would go for more of like a 2008-ish sort of Undertaker look, right? I would give him like the singlet, but I would have it where he had the, the ringside exclusive torso, right? Where the, the tattoos are seen, and he has the removable top on there. I think that would be really sick. By the time we get to Elite 100, is it going to have, you know, the the, the rubberish style pull-down? I don't know, but he'll have double-jointed arms. He'll have the gloved hands. He should have the entrance coat. He should still be able to pull down the straps, have that, you know, that shirtless torso underneath. He'll have his hat. He'll have the interchangeable head sculpt. It could be a magnificent figure, especially in package. Brand new head sculpts for all these guys again. True effects, all the good stuff. I think you should go with like the pissed off determined head sculpt and then the tongue out eyes rolling the back of the head head sculpt. It only makes sense, especially for this time period. I think that would be great for the Undertaker. So that is what I would do for the Undertaker's figure. Next up in the set, guys, is going to be the game. We have Triple H in this set. He had to be in the set, right? It's Triple H. I would go with 2005-ish Triple H. You guys know my favorite Triple H shirt of all time. If you don't know, it is this shirt right here. I own this shirt. I love this shirt. It's so beautiful, so iconic. Got the cross sledgehammers, got the long haired skull there. Sledgehammer accessory, water bottle accessory, this t shirt, World Heavyweight Championship, handlebar mustache head sculpt with interchangeable screaming handlebar mustache head sculpt. How freaking beautiful would that be? That is what I would do for this Triple H. It's an era we haven't had just yet. The trunks would just be the, the Iron Cross in silver with the Triple H on the front. I think we have had this in basic form, but we've never seen it in Elite, so I think it would be great with the double jointed arms, Elite Tour. This would be a great Triple H. This would be the Triple H to own. It would be beautiful to see. That is what I would do for Triple H. World Heavyweight Championship again. Beautiful looking t-shirt. All these figures would have great accessories. They tie in beautifully, and that is a way to get another World Heavyweight Championship in this line package. Maybe even in this line, they could, they could alter the World Heavyweight Championship and make it more accurate than the one that we've been getting for years and years and years change it up a little bit, maybe make it more accurate and thinner and stuff like that. We'll see, but that is what I would do for Triple H. Next up, guys, is going to be HBK Shawn Michaels. Again, another legendary talent. Got to plug him in the line. He was around for that era, so for this one, I would go with WrestleMania 24 Shawn Michaels. This is, of course, the, uh, you know, uh, I'm sorry, I love you, super kick, sweet chin music right to Ric Flair. Red and black pants. He's got the HBK wristbands on. You can even do it. It's John Cena style. Double jointed HBK arms, and then you could give him the ultimate edition John Cena wristbands. I think he was only wearing one wristband, so you may have to like alter the mold a little bit, but have those removable wristbands that have the sweat bands kind of sculpted on there, like the ultimate edition Hogan, like the ultimate edition Cena. Include his entrance gear. You can include, you know, the two interchangeable head sculpts, the maybe even a I'm sorry, I love you head sculpt. You could have, you know, just a regular entrance head sculpt, a determined pissed off head sculpt. Shawn Michaels is one of those guys that needs a new head sculpt so desperately that it's just awful. That's a whole nother video in itself, man. He needs another 
updated head sculpt so damn bad that it is brutal. We need a new Shawn Michaels head sculpt like yesterday. So you'd have the removable stuff, you'd have the interchangeable heads, the entrance gear. He also wore a cowboy hat at that event, so you could throw the cowboy hat in there, entrance gear, interchangeable hands. It'd be a, it'd be a nice little figure right there. I think that would totally work. And moving into our last figure in the set, man, it, I came down to two different guys. You guys can let me know what you think here, but I would go with Rey Mysterio. I feel like Rey Mysterio is a perfect plug-in right there. I would go with one of his, one of his, I would either re-release the Flash ringside exclusive Rey Mysterio and give him, you know, some good deals right there. He'd have double jointed arms. You could maybe even make the entrance, maybe make it not where the shirt's rubber, but make it where it's like a nice shiny material that goes over the figure that doesn't have Velcro, kind of like the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin, but it would be bright. It would look good, make the legs way more movable. Uh, you know, remold that, that long pants Rey Mysterio, like really combine maybe the newer ones with the older ones, find that ultimate style Rey Mysterio, where he's very poseable, he's got double jointed arms, he could have an interchangeable smiling head sculpt with the mask all sculpted nice, a serious head sculpt, interchangeable hands, maybe a cruiserweight championship would be really sweet, we haven't seen that in the line in a minute, so maybe a cruiserweight championship to throw in there, but Rey Mysterio would be great, I think he would sell really well too, so you guys know they like to pump out the Rey Mysterios, but the other guy that I had in mind would be Edge, I think Edge would be a really fantastic guy to plug into Elite Series 100, a guy that was around at the beginning, again he was a part of Elite Series 1, so was Rey Mysterio, so was Undertaker, Triple H was in Elite Series 2, Shawn Michaels and John Cena were in Elite Series 3, and Randy Orton was also in Elite Series 2, so that's kind of, you see where CM Punk's not able to be made, MVP wouldn't make a lot of sense, he was out for a long chunk of time, so you guys can kind of see where the wave goes, but I think Edge could also be plugged in there, give us the purple and camo gear, t-shirt again, maybe a beanie accessory, brand new Edge head sculpt, maybe like the crazy eyes head sculpt in there, dude, there's so many great options, man, that like so many great options, but my other thoughts for Elite Series 100, if we don't do this nice Ruthless Aggression kind of themed wave, you know, like guys that were from the Ruthless Aggression era that came all the way through and kind of carried Mattel through the 100 sets there. They have some of the most figures, you know, all these different things play a role. The other guys that I would honestly, I feel like they're probably going to do would probably be The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man. They're not going to do Ric Flair, I don't think, by this time, but I could definitely see those five guys, maybe an Undertaker, maybe a Shawn Michaels, maybe a Triple H, but I think that I could definitely see Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, all those different guys. Now, obviously, since this is a regular Elite Wave, there's going to be a Chase variant, so maybe that could be where John Cena gets the Chase variant. Maybe you could do, you know, the, the baseball jerseys one and the football jerseys the Chase variant or, or something of that nature. Maybe you could do Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 24 gear for one and then another iconic gear for the other. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around with it, but I took some time to make this out, and I would love to know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below, so please let me know what your thoughts are. If this was a Elite Series 100, would you be glad with it? Would you be disappointed with it? Please let me know all those things down below. Maybe you have some cool ideas down there, but again, brand new head sculpts, beautiful looking packaging, interchangeable head sculpts, interchangeable hands, double jointed arms, cloth goods for almost every single figure, almost a championship with every single figure. They need to be iconic. They need to look beautiful. And this is definitely a set that I will keep mock. I'm definitely going to get a mock set of Elite Series 100 and keep those in the, uh, you know, in the bins for, for uh, ice in it. You know, I got to keep some of those on ice, so that'll be a thing. But that wraps up today's video, man. Let me know what you think down below of Elite Series 100 or my my MDT's personal WWE Elite Series 100, and uh, that's going to wrap up my video, man. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think down below. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line for me for predicting Elite Series 100 when we're 10 series away. I mean, that's, that's a little ways away, but I mean, that'll be here before we know it, but still, I crossed the line a little bit. You crossed the line.